Right, good morning. So you are going to want to grab paper and pen this morning because I think I'm going to have uh, a few ideas for you today and some things that you can put into work today if you choose to. And I want to talk to you about how you can make a difference in someone else's life. And I want to talk to you today about how a little thing, the smallest of things, can really make a big difference. So we're gonna dive right in because I think that right now, I'm getting tired of saying it, but right now we're just in a, in a, a tremendously challenging time in our lives. We're in um, a time period where we get thrown different things at us and we've had to really you know, switch on a dime and really just meet the challenges. And I think that as a community, we're facing some some socioeconomic challenges, we're facing global challenges, uh, certainly political challenges, none of which I'm gonna get into today. And uh, we also, I think, are facing some personal internal challenges. So when we are faced with a challenge, uh, as my new theme song says, we don't give up and we try everything, we figure it out. So today, I think that my message is about the fact that collectively, we can do a lot to make positive change that collectively we have a responsibility as human beings on this planet to leave something behind that not only can make our lives more meaningful, but could really impact the lives of others. So if you feel like I'm on the right path this morning, let me know how you think and how you feel. You can put something in the chat here on uh, Zoom. You can, of course, put something in the chat on Facebook. And tell me if you're ready to create some energetic solutions and look at things in a different way. So again, I think that we have incredible power to connect and to impact the lives of other people. I think that the human experience is um, one that can be made more meaningful when we think outside of ourselves. And when we do give back to other people in uh, energetically, spiritually, um, with time, with money, whatever it is, I know that it can create an impact on ourselves. And if you've been focused on a lot of self-care, then the same is true about creating this ability to use that to impact someone else. So I think that this is going to give us an opportunity to come from contribution. And I know it's gonna give us an opportunity to feel like we have some control in our lives because I know that the opposite of hopelessness is being helpful. So if we can create this helpfulness approach, it will combat any, any feeling that you've had recently of being helpless or hopeless. So we have to be the change we wanna see in the world. And I'm talking today about some small ways you can do this. This is nothing um, that any of us couldn't put into motion if we choose to. Because again, the quietest gesture the smallest idea, the most ordinary action can sometimes pick up steam and cause uh, a major impact in someone else's life. And especially if we wanna use this group right here as a way to create change and a ripple effect too. There's over 400 people on the Facebook group. I don't know how many of you are watching this or watch it later. I get stopped all the time. I have people texting me, which is really very sweet telling me they really look forward to this. Sometimes they can't do it at 7.30 in the morning, which is okay, but they watch it later. So if you're watching this later, that's great. Um, so just know that you have the ability not only to empower yourself, but to impact the lives of others. So when we really step out and try to be a better friend, a better neighbor, a better um, partner, then we also become a better person. And when we can also look at our part to heal the planet, to make positive changes in society, uh, to even impact the economy. Don't tell yourself that you're only one person and you don't have the ability to do those things because you do. And I'm gonna give you at least a dozen ways you can do that today. And so again, if you don't have paper and pen, you might wanna grab it. Of course, this is going to be on YouTube, on my YouTube channel, and you can find us again on Facebook. So if you wanna just sit back and think, that's okay too. You can always play it back and watch it later and take your notes then. So let's start with one, one simple way, no order of importance. I, I was looking at an article and that's what kind of inspired me to do this. And I then did a little bit more research on some things that I felt resonated with me. You can add to this list and I would love to see your thoughts. 
and have you share those on the Facebook page. But the first thing that I would say uh, any of us could do um, is we could focus a little bit on recycling. So let's talk about that for a second. It's the easiest thing we can do to make the greatest impact on the planet. And I know for myself, I was not always someone who paid a lot of attention to this. However, I think that as I get older and wiser, I realize that we are having a very big impact on our environment and recycling is easy and it's something that we can do. According to the US Environmental Protection Agency, only 34% of Americans take the time to recycle. It's a little sad. So not only can you grab an extra garbage pail and start to rinse out and recycle your cans and bottles and cartons and things like that, but we can also be more mindful and pay attention to some of the businesses who incentivize us to recycle. For instance, ladies, uh, companies like Kiehl's, Lush, and Mac, if you bring back your used containers for recycling in any of their stores, they often will give you freebies and or a discount towards your next purchase. So again, really easy thing to do. A lot of companies like, um, I think American Eagle still does it. I know Lee, some of the Lee stores do it. You can come in with your old jeans and they will donate them to someone in need and give you a discount on a new pair of jeans. So really like easy, painless ways to do stuff like that. So recycling is one way. Uh, so the second way that you can make a big change in the lives of another person is to take this challenge. I'm going to challenge you to write one handwritten note every single day. So you can use notebook paper, you can go to the dollar store and get cute stationery, whatever floats your boat. Yet here's the thing, sitting down for a couple of minutes with a cup of coffee or a glass of wine and expressing your gratitude to someone or just putting out a little note is going to do a lot for your spirit and it can really make someone else's day. So you can write a note to a family member, a loved one. It could be your friend. I mean, we talk to our friends all the time through Facebook and, and text messaging. Imagine if your best friend opened up a handwritten note. He asked all my besties, I would love that. So, <laughs> so the other thing, if you really wanna take this challenge to another level, is look for organizations that could really use your help in this area. Like for instance, there is a wonderful organization called Soldiers Angels. So you can look that up online where you can send notes to our armed forces overseas. You can also send a card to a pediatric cancer patient through an organization called the Tyler Robinson Foundation. Okay, and I'm sure there's a lot of others. So if you know of other places, I see Jill just put something in the chat. Um, as for that, let me just open the chat. What does Jill have to say? As for that personal note, sure hope the US mail is still available to deliver it. Ah, yeah, you're <laughs> not kidding. Well, maybe, maybe if we took this on, that would be something to stimulate the US Postal Service, right? Who knows? So writing a note every day could be awesome and change the lives of someone else. Now, the third thing I have on my list, leave a legacy, which I'm gonna to talk to you about one way you can do that. Be intentional about how you wanna leave a legacy. So there is a website you can check out called freewill.com. Now, please know if you have a great attorney and I'm here to support and love on attorneys who can do this for you, that's fine. Some of you may not have a resource like an attorney. So I just wanna say, that you can look at uh, freewill.com and this is a website that will help you drop a will and it also has this really great component where um, you it makes it easy for you to donate to a charity of your choice. It gives you charities to look at that maybe you didn't even know about. And what I found really um, encouraging about this is that since Free Will launched four years ago, it has helped to raise nearly a million dollars through 90,000 wills that it created on its site. So they're making a difference by offering the service and then encouraging you to also look at how you can make these, these donations. So I thought that was awesome. Okay, number four, here's another way you can make a big difference in someone else's life and add value to your own. Become a dog's best friend or a cat or a goat, you know, whoever, 
whatever animal is special to you, uh, because there are so many local shelters that could use your help, right? Either financially through a monetary donation or a donation of food or blankets. I would just encourage you to call first and see exactly what they need. Sometimes they need the money more than they need the items and vice versa. And they also are looking for people who want to lend a helping hand. So you can go in and spend time with the animals. You can, um, I believe, walk the dogs and, and play with the cats. And that can make a huge difference, not only in the lives of the people working at the shelter, because you're helping out, but certainly in the lives of a four-legged, lovable creature. So find a way to support the animals in your community. Also, I think that when we do things like that, it, it does, uh, I hope, reduce the number of, of animals in these shelters. You could take that a step further too. Perhaps you wanna be a foster parent to, a, to an animal, to a dog or a cat. Um, and that can make a big difference in our environment as well. So number five, we're gonna continue the conversation about volunteering. So volunteering our time has a definite ripple effect and can touch countless lives that you don't even know about. So it can help the person that uh, the organization or you are supporting, but it does amazing things for you. So here are some research that I want you to know. The London School of Economics found that people who volunteer weekly are 16% happier than those who don't. So right now at a challenging time where we might feel that we have uh, some things that are out of our control, what better way to bring back our power than to use our time to benefit other people, to support organizations that we believe in, uh, and to make, to make uh, some positive changes. So again, and the, the benefit to us on our economic, excuse me, on our emotional health can do amazing things. Another study published in Psychological Science says that spending time helping others will help you feel more capable and useful. And then another study that I don't remember where I found because I didn't cite it here in my notes, said that adults 15 over who volunteer at least once per week live longer than those who don't. Sign me up, I'm ready for it. <laughs> okay. Another thing that I uh, have on the list, and I will find some of the websites, I didn't put them down in my notes, but we'll, I'm gonna share a lot of this information, some of these websites on the Facebook page. Um, here's something else that you can do. There are some organizations that you can uh, enter into different trials and studies where they'll actually uh, work with you and learn things from you behaviorally, how your brain works. Uh, and so a lot of this research, especially what I use in coaching that I cite, uh, is, is because of people who volunteer to be in these uh, focus groups. So if that interests you, if you would like to, you know, find something that would, uh, you know, use your time to support research on how people think, how people behave, there are a lot of uh, different places that you can connect with. And I'll put some of those on the, on the Facebook group for you. Okay, number seven. We can do our part to create a safer environment for each other. And we can support companies that choose to put products that are safer on the market and who choose to manufacture in a safer way. And this is important because look, just like this body is the only body you have to live in, we have to take care of our bodies. Well, the planet is where we live and we have to take care of that as well. And again, I think as I've gotten smarter and, and older, I've become wiser to these things. It can make a big difference what you use to clean your house with. And again, I'm giving you things to think about so you can do what's right for you. But there are a lot of companies that uh, will, will make it their mission to provide you with safer cleaning products, safer products for your home, for your children, for the environment. And if you'd like to know where to start, you can go to a website called Made Safe, Made Safe. And that website will actually, what, it, what that company does is it evaluates products and it gives it its own like seal of approval and, and will publish some of the studies. So you can go on there and compare products and make choices that are good for you and your family. So that's called Made Safe. If you're looking to find products that are, are safer for you and your environment and that are non-toxic. Number eight, I'm making this my mission for this week. I thought this was awesome and I've heard about it before, but it just really resonated with me today. Uh, and that is to plant trees. 
plant trees in honor of someone you love. You can plant trees uh, just for the sake of planting trees. And I don't mean going out there and digging a hole in your yard. That I'm not doing this week, but what I am going to do, I mean, you can if you want to, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this website called alivingtribute.com, alivingtribute.com. And for as little as $9.99, $9.99, you can sponsor the planting of a tree. And that gift, sometimes that, that monetary gift of $9.99 is actually enough to not only plant a tree, but to uh, restore other trees and, and um, uh, help some of the uh, forests in our national parks. So this gift of $9.99 will allow you to plant a tree. You can do it in honor of someone that you love. You'll receive a certificate to show where your tree was planted what type of tree, what park or national forest it's in. Uh, and I thought that was awesome. So that's something I'm gonna do this week. So again, it's a livingtribute.com. All right, number nine, let's talk about making a difference in your local community. So this morning on Monday Mornings Mojo, you know, Mojo is about getting yourself going. It's about getting that energy. And today I wanted to talk to you about how every one of us has the ability to make change, positive change and create these ripple effects in our lives and the lives of others in our community. And I don't want anyone sitting around saying that they are helpless in any given situation because you can do more than you think. So we can do that. We can make a difference right in our own backyard. So if you need some help to look at what is going on locally, now for those of you who are living here in the Hudson Valley, I know there is one organization, uh, the Community Foundation of Orange and Sullivan County. You can go to their website. This philanthropic institution manages over 300 different uh, funds that are started by local community members. And they distribute, uh, as I think, uh, in, since its inception, they've distributed, I saw on their website yesterday, $11 million in charitable donations in the forms of grants and educational sp uh, scholarships. <laughs> Excuse me. So this is one place to start. See what the different organizations are that they represent. Decide if you want to support something you know, financially or put that in part of your legacy planning. Um, but I think when we can find and connect with our passion, and identify groups that have the same interests and the same mission, then we can decide, do we want to donate our time? Do you want to be a volunteer for a local organization? Uh, do you want to, um, Jill, that's on my list. Don't worry, I'm going to get there. And, and do you want to, do you want to, you know, maybe uh, sit on a board? I sit on a couple of boards myself. You know, what is meaningful to you? Where do you want to put your voice? Where do you want to donate your time, maybe your money? So look at what's going on in your local area and support local community foundations. And, and again, especially what I see through the Community Foundation of Orange and Sullivan, a lot of our youth is being positively impacted by these uh, organizations because many of them are in the forms of scholarships and grants. So I love that. Okay. So again, continuing the conversation around our community, uh, and Jill just put this in the chat. So number 10 is to buy local, support your local businesses. And you know, take a little time today, tomorrow, and see what is around you in the local community. It could be, and especially today and in, in what we have seen happen with COVID impacting our economy, you know, it's very interesting. Some businesses, some people are flourishing and other people are not. And it really is, I think, uh, our, doing our part to help someone in our local community by buying their product, by visiting their restaurant, supporting their store. Uh, and what we're talking about today is making this more of a purpose and a plan rather than it happening by accident and saying, oh, you know, I'm glad we went to that restaurant Friday night because they're local and good for their, you know, for them. Instead, what I'm talking about is making a plan and doing it intentionally. So what are the local businesses that you would like to support and how can you do that? Uh, the Chamber of Commerce in your area might be a good way for you to figure out where some of these businesses are and what products and services they represent. So if we can do our part to support each other, our economy will grow stronger from the inside out. So I know that's gonna have a major ripple effect on uh, the economy, but also right down to someone's household, right? That's gonna help keep uh, them going and moving forward. 
All right, number 11, be better every day. Get up every day with the intention to just be a better person than you were yesterday. Imagine how we will grow. And what do I mean by be better every day? Let me give you some ways to do that. Appreciate good work. If someone does a good job, whether it's on the phone because you called the customer service line or you went out to eat, take a second and tell them, I appreciate you, you did a great job today. Imagine how you will make that person feel. Some people might not even know what to do with that because they don't hear it enough. Uh, so be, be able to appreciate good work, express gratitude. That's, that's how we can be better every day. We can be better every day when we avoid negativity and gossip, choose not to participate in any of that. And last but not least, I could give you a hundred reasons or a hundred ways to do uh, things to impact the lives of other people. Uh, I'm just gonna start with a few and I'll tell you uh, what you can do to make this happen in your life. But the last one I'm talking about today uh, is to be a good neighbor. So when we talk about being a good neighbor, again, it's just bringing the focus into our own community. And if we're all doing that, imagine the ripple effect across communities, across counties and states. Um, and here are some ways that you can be a good neighbor. You may or may not know who even lives around you. So if you don't even know who your neighbors are, again, in a very respectful, physically distant way, get to know people and say hello. Sometimes just taking a walk around the neighborhood, you actually pick up your head and say, hi, how are you? If you do have relationships with your neighbors, are there ways that you can support each other right now? Can you create some kind of a shared community type work list? Like in other words, taking turns mowing each other's lawns. I, I have to say any of you who have school aged children right now, my heart goes out to you. It, is, it cannot be easy. Uh, and I still don't even know what all the school districts have decided about school. But many of you are faced with having to homeschool again. Are you someone who has time and talent that maybe you want to volunteer to support some of the, the working parents that you know or working parents in your neighborhood? Would you be willing to help them homeschool? Would you be willing to help with homework? You could do that on a Zoom call. It doesn't even have to be where you're spending close, you know, you're in close proximity to each other. You might be someone who's really just naturally good at math or writing or science. And could you help someone else support, could you support them and help them with the, the school and the work that they have to do for their children? Because I'll tell you, if it was me right now, my poor children, it would not be a good time in, our, in the Gibbs household uh, if I had to homeschool. So can you help someone with that? Um, how can you be a better partner? How can you be a better friend? Are you reaching out and connecting? Are you having, I posted something on Facebook last week about having date night with your friends, right? So especially for the women that are listening, we need that emotional support. I know men do too, but I'm not a man, so I can't really talk to it. But I can tell you as a woman, we need it. We need emotional support. We need a way to have an outlet. We need to be able to encourage each other. We need to laugh. We need to cry. We need to try to solve the world's problems over a bottle of Cabernet or a mojito, whatever is your thing. So reaching out and having that time to do that with each other is so important because this and so many other ways of, of what we talked about today is just gonna help you live well, right? And that's what it's about is, is living well. So we've talked here on Mojo before about finding your purpose and identifying your big why. And I think that when you can take what we talked about this morning as a springboard into getting really connected to your purpose and your big why and finding ways to express it. Not only will that do amazing things for you, but it will impact the lives of other people. And you have the power to be a coach. You have the power to be an encourager, a supporter, and you have the power to be a catalyst for amazing things to happen around you. I think when we make the effort to be connected and we gravitate towards experiences that are pleasant and fulfilling, uh, and when we share those experiences with other people, it just adds tremendous value to our lives. Um, so be a blessing to someone today. And here's where I'm going to help you kind of chunk this down, right? Because I know I can give a lot of information in a short amount of time. 
And, and I'm not here to overwhelm you. I'm here to give you choices and I'm here to give you options. So if I haven't shared this before, today especially, take this list of 12 and decide what is the one thing that you would like to start this week. You can't put all 12 into motion. I know some of them, some of you feel like, oh, sure I could, but it's really about doing it and doing it well. So choose one. And I would love for you to tell me and all of us here on Monday Morning Mojo, what is your one thing this week? Uh, you can put it on, on the Facebook page. And if you're not sure yet, tell us whenever you are sure. What is the one thing that you're going to do this week from this list that you're going to put into action? So for my friends that always, I love you for hanging out with me on Zoom. Uh, because I can actually talk to you in a way I can't talk to the people on Facebook. Uh, is there, are any of you thinking that one of these ideas is really connecting with you and resonating with you? What is your one thing going to be this week? I'm going to do the buy local. You're going to, so what's your plan? Are you, do you have a, what? an idea of some local places or you need to do? Well, you know, different? buying groceries from the farm market, that's as local as you can get versus going off. I mean, we go to the supermarket right? Well, at least we do it once a week, but I think the buy local produce is a big support for the farmers in the area. Totally. And we, we do that ourselves. My husband, Matt, is very big about supporting the local farmers and uh, we might spend 50 cents more for a dozen eggs, but it's well worth it. And they taste pretty, pretty good. So yeah, they, there is that. a tasting difference. Yes. Yeah. I love that. Anybody else want to share what the one thing is they might want to focus on this week? Got time for one more. Um, well, I have to say, I think I got Jill doing this. We compost our like vegetable scrapings and stuff because we live right, the woods is right up behind our house. Um, and so we just dump all of that stuff out um, and the woodland creatures eat it or it goes back to nature. Um, and I would say we probably save a bag's worth of garbage a week from going into landfill. So yeah, that's, that's awesome. one of those really easy things you can do that. Um, it, and, uh, and it makes anyway, a difference. I think it makes a big difference. It does, and you know, again- But I'm gonna, I'm gonna write, I'm gonna do the notes, write notes to people. Yeah, I, I love that too, I love that. Yeah, and you know what, these things, and when you look at them individually, you could try to tell, talk yourself out of it by saying, oh, is it really that big a deal? It is, it is, especially when you do what Sarah did and you encourage a friend to follow along with you, it creates the domino effect, so. I just wanna encourage you uh, to, to do your part to create great change around you. It does add so much meaning to your life. One thing that I'm gonna to look to do besides the trees this week, um, and I know I told you one thing, but I kind of decided that yesterday, so I'm gonna say that was last week's. I am gonna look at where I can volunteer my time a little bit more because I, I feel that you know when we can get outside of ourselves and really support other people and other organizations, and I know that we can find ways to do that and still be social, socially, or I, again, I'm trying to change that phrase, physically distant, we can still use our, our safety precautions, but there is a lot of opportunity to make great change in, in the avenue of volunteering. So, Sarah, do you wanna say something no. else? No, no. I'm okay, Thanks. all right. Well, I uh, really, I hope that I've given you one thing that you can jump on. If I've inspired one person to do one thing, I feel really good about that. I've done my part for today. Um, and please use this platform to share with us what you're doing because you can then inspire someone else to do the same. So I wish you a wonderful Monday and a great week. I'm gonna share a lot of these things um, on the Facebook page during the week. And I hope to see you guys back here next Monday. All righty, have a good, Good week. Take care. You too. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.